Hi student, once again welcome to my e class. Today I explain there are very important global warming. There are the global warming in examining the global warming we will be looking at the question such as is the world getting warmer? If so are the action of the mankind to blame for earth and temperature increase and uh, what can should be done about global warming there are first of all their introduction uh, is the world getting warmer and if so are the action of mankind to blame for earth temperature increase and what can should be done about this and uh, <coughs> there are the you know the earth history the history of the earth climate of there this is a big picture examination of the earth climate the earth was formed around 4.6 billion years ago and was originally very hot and how are the sun energy output was only 70% of what is uh, presently and uh, liquid water was present on the surface around 4.3 billion years ago and the liquid water presents the 4.3 billion uh, years and their history of the earth climate you will see here that the life of air 3.8 billion years ago and photosynthesis began 3.5 to 2.5 billion years ago and produce their oxygen and uh, remove carbon dioxide and methane there are the greenhouse gas and uh, there are earth went through period of cooling and warming and uh, this this is very uh, important that the first of the life from a fair 3.8 billion years ago their uh, photosynthesis began 3.5 to 2.5 billion years ago which uh, produce oxygen and remove the carbon dioxide and methane and which are greenhouse gases from the atmosphere and as a result the earth went through periods of cooling and commonly refers to as uh, uh, small earth and subsequent warming the earth wing it is the current cycle of uh, glacial and interglacial period around 3 billion years ago and uh, you see here the sun sent out energy and uh, there are the heat and lights this energy comes to our earth during the daytime and the some of the sun rays get trapped in the atmosphere some of them get reflected back into the space and the uh, one who is uh, get through the atmospheric worm and uh, and this type there are the some of the sun rays are get and uh, trapped in the atmosphere some of them get reflected among them space and uh, all the uh, time there uh, all the time the earth radiates uh, heat into the space we cool it down we only really notice that in at night time when there is no heating from the sun and sun of the uh, heat going out is trapped by the atmosphere and this is uh, what make our planet warm through to live on and but if too much heat is trapped our planet uh, will um, warm up and the climate will change and uh, there are very important uh, the earth temperature and uh, the temperature of the earth is uh, directly reflected to the energy input uh, from the sun and some of the sun energy is reflected by clouds and other is the reflect by the ice the remainder is absorbed 
uh, by the earth and uh, this type the solar energy coming and their radiation cooling and and uh, there if the amount of solar radiation energy absorbed by the earth is equal uh, to uh, equal to the earth is equal to the amount of radiation back into the space the earth rate earth remain at constant their temperature and however if the amount of solar energy is greater than the amount of radiants then the earth heat up and if the amount of solar energy less than the amount radiation then the earth cool down and there the natural uh, greenhouse gases uh, their effect uh, by the quite a lot of heat is uh, trapped and the earth is warm and uh, this process here the heat radiates from the earth and there are the some heat and goes out to space and there are the atmospheric trapped some heat and opposites there more heat is trapped and the cause uh, global warming there are the basically heat radiates from the earth their atmosphere has more greenhouse gases and thereafter result their atmospheric trapped more heat and there are the enhance greenhouse uh, effect and uh, uh, earth transform the sunlight and the visible uh, lights energy into infrared lights uh, energy which lives uh, uh, there are the um, earth slowly because it is absorbed by greenhouse gas and when the people produce there are the greenhouse gases uh, and energy lives earth even more slowly and rising earth there are the temperature and once again to a certain uh, there are earth transform the sunlight the visible lights uh, energy into infrared lights energy and who is lives there at the earth slowly because it is absorbed by greenhouse gas uh, when people produce the greenhouse gases energy lives earth even more slowly and rising the earth temperature and this slides and there are the solar radiation uh, powers to the climate system you know the solar radiation uh, some solar radiation is uh, reflected by the earth and the atmosphere and there are the about half of the solar radiation is absorbed by the earth surface and uh, warm it and opposite uh, there are the greenhouse effect some of the infrared radiation passes through the atmospheric um, but most is absorbed and re-emitted in all direction by the greenhouse gas molecules and uh, clouds the effect of this it is one the earth surface and uh, the lower atmosphere and here you see the infrared uh, radiation is emitted from the earth surface and uh, the there are the uh, very importance in the slides uh, to a certain degree that earth takes the light that's like a greenhouse gas and energy from the sun and um, presentates the gas of uh, glass of greenhouse and warm and uh, warm and warm the air an object with the greenhouse and the same glass slow on the heat from scraping and resulting in much there is a higher temperature uh, temperature the greenhouse then outside it then the outside in and the greenhouse uh, there are the um, major effects the earth surface uh, does receive energy from two sources the sun and the atmosphere as a result there are the earth surface is 33 degree warmer than it would be without an atmosphere 
and greenhouse gases uh, are transparent uh, to short wave what absorb the long wave radiation thus the atmosphere uh, stores energy and the earth atmospheric gases and uh, the likewise the earth atmospheric gases affect the ability of the earth to radiate in the sun energy back into space and there are the nitrogen and oxygen make up the 99 percent of the earth atmospheric gas and are non greenhouse gases they are such as the water carbon dioxide and their methane make up the one percent of the uh, earth atmosphere but are greenhouse gas since they cause the earth to retain heat and there are selected there are some greenhouse greenhouse gases the carbon dioxide gas the main source of uh, the fossil fuel burning and the deforestation and anthropogenic increase uh, from the 30 percent the average temporary atmospheric resistance time 500 years and their methane stage 4 their source rice cultivation cattle and sheep ranching and decay from the landfill and mining anthropogenic increase on 45 percent and average temperature increase their resistance time 7 to 10 years and nitrous oxides the source of industry and agriculture the fertilizer anthropogenic increase 15 percent average temperature resistance there are time approx 140 to 190 years and uh, they are in this chart are showing the world uh, the carbon emission um, 1750 to 2000 and there are the uh, very interesting this swing uh, is is due to the expectation increase in the use of fossil fuel over the last 150 years and soon here are emission of carbon from gas solid liquid fuel and the total carbon dioxide and their color here different are showing and the total and liquid fuel and solid fuel and gas fuel and uh, once again there are the gas fuel and uh, the solid fuel and the liquid fuel and the out of the total uh, world was the carbon emission and the strain of the 1750 to 2000 and uh, next the annual carbon emission there are showing the annual carbon emission and what atmospheric carbon dioxide and atmospheric carbon dioxide average and they are uh, there are the despite this uh, rapid increase uh, in carbon dioxide emission only about the half the carbon can be detected in the atmosphere the remainder of the carbon dioxide gas being dissolved in the ocean or incorporated into trees and their future carbon dioxide gas level you know there are the increasing carbon dioxide emission especially in the china and developing country and they are uh, likely to uh, double within the 150 years their increase the coal uses increase the natural gas and decrease petroleum uses there uh, uh, increase the cost and decreasing supply and next there are the what what's happening um, very uh, uh, this burning issue what's happening the scientist says that the bar um, the very are uh, insulting the continent ice cap is the melting the impact of uh, warming temperature in the antarctica are likely to occur the fast in the northern selection of the continent and where summer temperature approaches the melting point of water there are approx 32 degrees uh, and there are um, and uh, what's happening the as uh, the ice melts with the uh, chunks of uh, glacier and will break off and the become they're like uh, ice and put uh, into the big and uh, glass of water and uh, the ice chunk uh, known as the iceberg and create mass in the ocean the iceberg replace the water causing the ocean level to rise and some of the shoreline in many places like the florida such as the greenlands 
and uh, will go the under the water and uh, this what will happen and the bed the rock is broad is so there what will happen the rising global temperature are expected to rise the sea level and the change and precipitation and the other local climate condition change the regional climate and could alter forest and crop yield and the water supply as it could also affect the human health and animal and the many types of ecosystem and desert and the deserts may expand into the existing uh, ranglands and the uh, features of some of our national park may be um, permanently altered and uh, this uh, where uh, has uh, it been happening these are the all our all our world there are the main equatorial belt uh, automatically their heat the highly heat high temperature and such as the uh, such region the africa and the central part of the asia and uh, there are the some part of um, the southern portion of north america and northern portion of uh, south america and uh, these are the um, uh, yellow uh, represent the warming and the melting glacier flooding and rising of the sea level the red rep uh, represents the speed of uh, disease the earlier springs and the plant and animal shed and the population change in the coral reef bleaching and the Um, different at the sea level increase and day by day and um, what happening to the animal basically their penguin population decline until the penguin population of the sun by 33 percent during the last 25 years in the response to decline in their uh, winter sea ice habits and according to fraser and w 1998 the antarctica biology and medicine uh, program the university of montana personal their communication and uh, there are what happening to the uh, animals and there are the region where major coral reefs bleaching events have taken place during uh, the past 15 years and the yellow spots include there are major bleaching events you see there are yellow spots and um, uh, spots in indicates major bleaching events um, taken place during the last um, past 15 years and uh, major basic issue there are the impact of climate change uh, their impact of uh, climate change and the rise in the temperature of 1.8 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade and their forest and biodiversity agriculture and coastal lines and the uh, climate change impacts in the india and there are the rajasthan broad area and day by day high the high temperature and the run of catch the sea level rise as the um, sea level rise also sundarban area and the mumbai and the salt water intrusion the kerala productivity of the forest and the tamil nadu the coral bleaching and the ganga sedimentation problems and uh, northwest india the reduction in the rice fields and and this uh, pictures the ganga glacier the origin of ganga 19 uh, 7080 1780 this is a location and there are change the 1935 and their change next the 1958 and their change the 1964 and last their 1971 and their 2001 the several change their 1780 to 2001 and approx at present their 2020 and uh, day by day there are uh, very short the position the ganga uh, gamutri glacier and these are uh, satellite images imagery and uh, their global impacts the large glacier on the mount uh, kenya has the loss of 92% of this masses and sea level have risen by 10 to 25 cm and thickness of sea ice in the arctic has uh, decreased by 40% and the india is uh, innovate and significant the unfcc on the 10th june 1992 the india ratified the kyoto protocol the india has the national action plan on the climate change there are the national solar mission and the national mission for enhanced energy efficiency and the national mission on the sustainable habits the national water mission the national mission for uh, sustaining the himalayan ecosystem the national mission for a green india national mission for sustainable agriculture 
the national mission and strategic mission on the climate change and the per capita carbon dioxide emission there are metric tons there are country there is usa europe japan china russia and india and world everest there are the metric tons and the highly there are us 20.01 and uh, and so is there in india 1.02 for the different the world average and uh, how do women uh, the increase methane level in the atmosphere you know this very burning issue how do uh, human increase the methane level in the atmosphere first of all there are the methane is uh, produced when the bacteria not organic matters uh, such that increase the livestock farming and uh, there are increased rice growing the increase build the rubbish in the landfill and the methane is also released when the fossil fuel are extracted and the amount of methane is uh, that atmosphere has increased by two and a half in time since the industrial revolution and uh, how do human uh, increase the carbon dioxide gas level in the atmosphere and how do human increase the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere this is a burning uh, fossil fuel release the the carbon dioxide gas store the million of years ago the most of the increase the carbon dioxide gas come from the fossil fuels uh, the different type of vehicles uh, and also the deforestation release the carbon dioxide storage is the trees and less trees also means less carbon dioxide can be removed from the atmosphere and uh, what can we uh, do to help the solve the problem and uh, what uh, we see, uh, you know the very and uh, this thinking issue of the global issue of global warming and the simple things uh, to do the uh, turn off your computer uh, or the tv when uh, you were not using it and take shorter and the shower and heating water use the energy and keep rooms cool by the uh, closing and blinds the shadows or the curtain turn off the lights when you leave a room and uh, use the compact uh, fluid in the valve and the we valve smart uh, you must will use the cfl and uh, this uh, emission for carbon dioxide gases what is the difference and the both the 500 watt valve and the cfl and uh, simple things uh, to do the dress uh, lightly uh, when it is hot uh, instead of the during of the air conditioning and uh, or use a fan and dress uh, warmly when it is cold and inside of the turning of the heat and uh, offer to help your uh, parents keep their air filters on your AC and the uh, furnace the clean and work salt uh, distance and insects are asking uh, for a ride in the car and plant a tree and basically plantation must be plantation day by day and uh, the last time uh, the conclusion here the global warming is uh, affecting plants animals humans and the earth and we need to learn how to uh, conserve our use of fossil fuel to minimize carbon dioxide gas and the production and this will uh, slow and down the effect of uh, global warming the future uh, carbon dioxide emission will uh, probably increase and especially their China and developing country this will result a likely and uh, doubling the carbon dioxide gases and the level of things 150 years due to the increased coal uses and increasing natural gas uses and although the play um, and the petroleum use is likely to decrease due to increase their cost and the decreasing supply and uh, there are uh, out to of home messages uh, the age of us uh, must take step to uh, pro um, protect our earth climate and um, i uh, suggest there are such scientists and agree that the burning of uh, fossil fuel is causing global warming and the sense uh, this uh, fuel are burned for energy and everyone use uh, energy and every one can help the stop the global warming just by using less energy or energy from the renewable uh, resource and uh, thank you and uh, hope you will visit soon and must will watch my channel and subscribe my channel